The Library of Black Lies is both a library as well as a labyrinth. And labyrinths differentiate themselves from mazes in that mazes are designed for you to get lost in, but labyrinths are designed for you to find yourself in the middle. What I was doing in this project was to think about the way in which we acquire knowledge which is often kind of described by getting lost or getting things wrong, or the way in which uh, translation and transcription are always inherently interpretive. There's always something that's being added or something which is being lost. In particular, thinking about the way in which uh, America likes to uh, share its history, which, you know, we like our history to be progressive and triumphant. You know, we like to believe that we went from slavery to Martin Luther King to Oprah Winfrey. But there's also characters like Bill Cosby, too, who was at one point considered to be America's dad. And he's in this library, too. So amongst the varied books, the ones that you find in the center of this labyrinth are ones encrusted in the crystals made of sugar. And sugar crystals um, embrace a, a hidden paradox. On one level, we recognize that crystals are something which is frozen in time, but the truth is that sugar crystals actually grow like the branches of a tree. They are organic, and even well after they dried, they still continue to breathe in and exhale the moisture in the room.